fall is here, hear the yell, back to school, ring the bell, brand new shoes, walking the Hey everybody, Mike Pfeiffer with Pfeiffer Hobby. Uh, today I thought I'd come outside, it's uh, pretty nice outside. Looks like we may even get a little spot of rain. Hopefully not as much as the people back east. But uh, anyway, I was going to do uh, video 40 and uh, show you what uh, some of the area looks like where, the, where I made the cliff and so forth and the things that I have to do yet. So um, let's walk in here and take a look. Well, everybody, um, this video is just going to show you uh, how my little uh, stream and everything turned out. I'll try and take you up here. I added in the stream and then I added a bunch of trees along it. Uh, it just kind of goes up there into the village. Uh, if I pan back here, we can see the waterfall. And if I can swing over this way, maybe you can see the stream along the uh, roadbed. As you notice, I haven't done the ballasting on the track. That's going to be the last issue down there. And if I back up a little more, you can see the trees around the uh, trestle and the water down underneath the trestle coming out of the uh, culvert. And if I back up a little bit more, you can kind of get the scope of the whole, the whole area there. I added about another hundred trees. I know it doesn't look like it, but uh, I did, uh, including the ones that are in the foreground here. Uh, in this shot, I, I don't know if I've ever had the camera on the, in the helix there uh, when I've been taking a video. Put my horny toad back up, my horny toad tile after I replaced the uh, fascia. Had to get him back up. You can see that I've uh, come around here with base scenery, no trees or anything on this mound or anything, and no reballasting of the track uh, back in here behind this hill. Uh, I've got to do some reballasting. If I swing over this way a little bit, you kind of get an idea of how the oil facil facility sets and the uh, lumber yard. Uh, when I get through uh, panning this video around a little bit, I'm going to do a, a few still shots of uh, both of these areas. Fall is here, hear the yell, back to school, ring the bell, brand new shoes, walking loose, climb the fence, books and pens, I can tell that we are going to be friends. Well, everybody, now you've seen that area. Uh, I've done this before in videos, but I want to show you what it looks like when I'm actually working in here and when I've been busy out at the fairgrounds and so forth. So let's pan a little bit around the layout, and I'll point out a couple of things that I've been doing, and uh, you'll find out I'm not a neat freak once again. Okay, everybody, you kind of saw this. Um, as I pan around, I'm just going to let you kind of scope it out. I, I've I purchased a bunch of uh, more modern vehicles, and I've I've changed out a lot of the vehicles. There's still some old vehicles around, as there would be um, even in today. But now, uh, this is what you don't see when I'm I'm taking these pictures and I'm working on scenery. All the junk moved on the layout. All the scenery material on the layout, and this is the good part. Uh, I still have the same old control panel. You guys have seen all of this stuff before. Um, this is just for the purpose of uh, scoping out, if you can see them in the video, the more modern, uh, few more modern vehicles. But uh, when I get down there, you see I got a bunch of junk laying on top of the layout. Nothing's where it goes. Um, what I'm trying to do over here, and Mr. G put out a couple of coil cars over there, which uh, he shouldn't have been doing, and I'll explain why. Um, these cars that I have in the yard right now are probably going to stay here. I, I, not stay here, but what I meant is to say is stay on the layout for a little while because I'm trying to find all my car cards. I have car cards for every car that I have, and I'm trying to get Gavin to go through his cars and, and uh, make uh, cards for his because he wants to get involved in the switching portion of, of all of this and um, the only way to do that is to have a card for every car and then we've got to create waybills and you can see a waybill in that pocket of that card right there 
and we were I was using that as a demonstration piece for Gavin to try and get him to understand north, south, east, and west on the layout and figure out where cars would go if they were going off the layout. And when I say off the layout, that would mean um, down to the staging yard down here and possibly be removed from the layout if they were going to, say, Chicago or somewhere else. But now if I keep on moving down, you'll see I have all my drawers open, have all the, well, not my drawers, but the cabinet drawers. But uh, but anyways, um, there's a, that building back there on the floor is going out to the fairgrounds whenever I get a chance to paint it. Uh, I've got a box of cars there that I'm trying to get up on the layout. A bunch of empty containers that I carry stuff back and forth to the uh, train building out of the fairgrounds. Uh, my pictures of my caboose um, that I built. Uh, a couple of Mr. G's, uh, looks like SD40's down there. Uh, Mr. G's, one of Mr. G's boxes. Um, my hot glue gun. I mean, there's really when you get to it, there's barely any place to walk in here, really. Uh, I still don't have my um, DS64s rigged up correctly. Uh, I'll get into that in just a minute. We'll explain the DS64 thing. In fact, I might make a, 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 in its own video about it, but I'll briefly touch on it. Um, that box is how I get the trees from the Philippines from a guy on eBay named Tree Dad. Exceptionally, he's they're exceptionally good people to work with. And his family, from what I understand, makes the trees over there in the Philippines, and you can buy them in bulk. There's about, I think I ordered 400 trees in there, and they're they're like two and a half inch. So I planned on using those in the background, and I'm not even halfway through it, and I've got probably more trees than I need. But nevertheless, there they are. Uh, some more foliage stuff. Uh, some of those, that's Mr. G's Amtrak train. Uh, most of those cabinets over here are his, and the ones over there are mine that are stacked double high. Uh, HO stuff that I'm trying to sell, uh, you know, just junk, air packs underneath the layout, I, um, and if you step back, even my vacuum cleaner is sitting up on my little stand so I can vacuum the track off up here, all my uh, glues and everything, and I know maybe to some people it's not as totaled as they may think, but for me this is chaos. Um, so anyway, uh, let me just quickly touch on the DS64 thing and um, let you know what I found out. Okay, gang, um, I decided that I, I am going to do a little video on the DS64s, but, but uh, basically what I was going to touch on is that it, uh, they come on and all your turnouts, um, I have them set to come on when the uh, system itself comes on, and they all start jumping all over the place and wind up being all set odd. And I have um, called Digitrax and found a cure for that. So if you'd like to know what that is, um, I'll post the video on them and go take a look at that video. It'll be it'll be uh, following uh, video 40 here. So um, please come and take a look at that. And um, let's get on with what we were doing here. Books and pens, I can tell that we are gonna be friends. I can tell that we are gonna be friends. Well, everybody, that's it for video 40, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Another relatively short video. I don't get much done when I get into the scenery stuff. But uh, come back and see us on video 41. Talk to you later. This is Mike. Books and pens, I can tell that we are gonna be friends. I can tell that we are gonna be friends Walk with me, Susie Lee Through the park, by the tree We will rest upon the